This is lesson seven of 16 lessons on how to build a Joomla website. This lesson marks the start of section three of this course. In section one, I provided an overview of Joomla and explained what you would need to use it. Section two starts at lesson four, and this is where I demonstrate how to install Joomla. For the remainder of these lessons, you'll learn all the essential concepts of Joomla. This lesson is about the front end of Joomla, and the topics are the difference between the Joomla front end and the back end, Joomla's files and folders, the role of the index.php file, an overview of templates, and the difference between primary and secondary content. This is the site that was created as part of the installation. In the installation lessons, I suggested you choose the option that installs sample data, and as such, this site already has a bunch of pages and content. You'll see that by clicking on links, that it works just like any other website. These pages that are presented to the end user are known as the front end of the website. Creating these pages and managing the website is done via the back end of the website. This is a password protected address which is accessed by entering your web address followed by a forward slash and the word administrator. In my example it's www.joomlavideodemo.com forward slash new site forward slash administrator. The back end of Joomla is called administrator and that's the term I'll now use. The next lesson in this course discusses the main functions of Administrator. One of the best things for beginners about building a website using Joomla is that you don't need to know any HTML or understand what is going on behind the scenes. However, for the benefit of those who have built websites before, you might like to know what happened to the hosting account during the installation. So, although you don't need to do this, you might be interested to see what the account looks like when I connect using FTP. Here it is. And just like any website, there are a bunch of files and folders. You'll see the administrator folder that contains everything necessary to build and manage the site. There is an images folder that currently contains some sample images. This folder might be the one time you do use FTP. If you have a lot of images to upload, you might prefer to do this via FTP. However, I show you the preferred method in lesson 13. Note too that there is a templates folder. And although you can make changes to a templates output here, depending on what you're doing, you might like to look into what's called a template override so future updates from the template developer do not override your modifications. In the root folder is a file named index.php. This single file powers the entire front end of the website and I'll now provide an overview of how it works. Once again though, if you're a beginner, don't let this stuff intimidate you. You will rarely, if ever, need to look at the files on your account. So, I just showed you a file named index.php. Unlike static websites, Joomla websites essentially only have one page. I've disabled a search engine friendly feature in Administrator to demonstrate how it works. When a visitor requests a home page, they just enter the web address and this is what's displayed. The actual page they're seeing though is the web address followed by slash index.php. When I add that to the URL, the same page is displayed. Now take a look at the address when I click a link. It's still index.php followed by several parameters. These parameters tell Joomla which content to display and how to display it. Here's another one. So this single file, index.php, does all the work. 
Now, in case you're wondering, these long, ugly URLs are not what you get by default. I'll just re-enable this search engine friendly feature in Administrator to bring it back to the default setting. Now you can see that when I click a link, the address is somewhat nicer. The site you're looking at is driven by a template that comes with Joomla. You can use this if you like, but most people either choose a template from a template developer or they engage a template designer to create a unique design. You'll learn more about templates in Lesson 14, and there is a list of recommended Joomla template developers on our website. There are two aspects of a template to consider. Firstly, there is the actual design, which includes elements such as the logo here, the colours, the fonts, the number of columns and so forth. These are primarily controlled by the template file and something more advanced developers would be familiar with, cascading style sheets. JavaScript is often incorporated too. The second aspect to a template are positions. Think of a template as a collection of boxes. Each piece of content needs to be placed inside a box. Joomla calls these boxes positions. The available positions are determined by the template designer and therefore vary from one template to another. When a particular page is requested, Joomla looks at the specified parameters of the page, collects the required content and places everything into the appropriate position to form a complete page. Every piece of content that appears on a page has been assigned to a position. I show you how to view the positions available in the template lesson. For now though, I'll overlay some boxes on the default Joomla template to give you an idea how this particular template is constructed. Firstly, there is the main body position, which is usually present in all templates. There are positions at the right. There is another position above this. And one at the top. The content that appears on a web page can often be divided into two categories, primary content and secondary content. The primary content is the main article or series of articles that usually appear in the middle of the page. Joomla automatically assigns these to a template position called main body. The process to create primary content is demonstrated in lessons 9 and 10. Everything else that appears on a page is secondary content. These items are assigned to a particular template position, and each position can contain more than one piece of content. For example, at the right is a position that contains two menus and a login form. That's three pieces of content. In Joomla, secondary content items are called modules. There are various types of modules included with Joomla and I'll discuss how to incorporate them into your site in Lesson 12. But let's have a quick look at some now. In the top position is a menu module that provides links to other pages. I've already mentioned these right menu modules. The last one provides the ability for registered users to log into the site to view and possibly add additional content. At the bottom is a you are here type of navigation better known to web developers as breadcrumbs. At the top is a module that allows your site visitors to search your site. There are additional modules built into Joomla and hundreds of third party ones available. Note too that you can specify that modules should appear on all pages or just certain pages. This lesson has covered a number of concepts which will be explained further in the rest of this course. Here is a summary of the major points. The pages that your visitors can view are collectively known as the front end. The back end of the site, where you create content 
and manage the website is called Administrator. A Joomla website consists of tens of thousands of files and folders. However, you don't usually need to directly access those files as everything is managed via Administrator. The site is powered by a single file called index.php. But once again, you don't usually touch this file as it dynamically creates pages based on special parameters. Joomla pages are powered by a series of files that are collectively called a template. Templates consist of design elements and positions. Content is assigned to template positions. Primary content is automatically assigned to the main body position. Secondary content items are called modules and they are allocated to a template position. There can be more than one module in each position. And modules can appear on all pages or only certain pages. In the next lesson, I'll give you an overview of where you control your site and its contents, the Joomla Administrator.